Merry Christmas. You know what? It's less than seven days before Christmas. We got old St. Nick's going to be flying around in his sleigh, checking his list, find out who's naughty and who's nice. And I'm, I'm not quite sure <laughs> where I fall this year, but I tell you what we're going to do. We are going to create, look here, we got some adult spirits right here. We're going to make some eggnog homemade eggnog which hopefully will sway santa just a tad welcome to gourmet fishing i'm your host david murray hey we do have it all right here so why don't we go ahead and get started on our eggnog right now let's get started on our merry christmas eggnog man we've got everything we need right here we've got six large whole eggs let's see what we got we got some half a cup of super fine sugar we got four cups of whole milk right here we've got a cup and a quarter of heavy whipping cream let's see we've got jack daniels we'll be using a half a cup and we've got some cognac right over here we'll also use a half a cup of that also we've got half a teaspoon each of cinnamon and freshly grated nutmeg we're going to be using a little bit of a vanilla bean about a quarter length of that we're going to split it and scrape it uh and some vanilla bean paste how about that quick simple we also have a sous vide equipment we've got it up to temperature 144.5 degrees that's what we're going to be doing our cooking our eggnog in and that'll take us about an hour so i tell you what why don't we grab the ninja blender and put all this stuff together that's what, exactly what we're going to do everything goes in here so here are our six eggs it's like so boop, boop. yep i think i crowned right maybe that was six <laughs> now i'm going to come in with our milk just like so i swear why does that always happen anyway okay this just, just does just does that's why i always have one of these around so i can clean up my own mess anyway here we go back to it here's our cup and a quarter ah uh, come here yeah i only had a one cup so there we are okay now we're good <laughs> good to go got our little mess going back there here we go we got uh our half a cup of super fine sugar you know what i'm gonna put these down here y'all don't want to look at these things behind me just like that okay let's see we've got our um half a teaspoon of our cinnamon our half a teaspoon of our freshly grated nutmeg by the way this is a little nutmeg grater and voila there is a nutmeg nut i yeah i guess no yeah okay anyway that <laughs> whatever dave now i'm going to come in with uh, some vanilla bean paste we're going to use about a teaspoon of that and you know what right, there we go i guess that'll work <laughs> no problem there that'll work just fine now i'm going to come in with our vanilla bean i do believe yep there he is i think we used about a half of that the other day so i'm going to come in and do this move you out the way so i can actually see what i'm doing and y'all may want to see what i'm doing let's see i <laughs> come down and we're just gonna split that guy like so and then well there we go there we split it that time and i'm just gonna scrape those flavorful seeds right out of that just like that voila now i'm gonna reserve this and I'm going to put that in our sous vide bag of eggnog before we put it in there. I don't think we want to put this in here, grind it up, and uh, no, I don't think so. So we won't do that. Now, that's, heck man, we are almost there. Let us now come in here with the fun stuff. Grab ourselves some cognac, or you can use brandy. That's, you know, that's, that's up to you. Come in here just like this oh yeah there's a half a cup that'll work perfecto lee something like that now half a cup of uncle jack now you can use any bourbon that you would like or whiskey i'm using jack let's see oh yeah man how about 
that about went right in there that would have made a mess and that would have kind of sort of ticked me off anyway here we go there it is now we need to process this for about 30 seconds we're gonna make this nice and smooth and then we are gonna be ready to go into our Ziploc bag and begin to sous vide. So here we go, just like so. Bring you over here. All right, make sure no tricks are gonna happen. Let's see, well, there we are, okay. <laughs> like that. We're done. How about that? Yes, sir. -y. So here we go. We need to come in, grab ourselves a Ziploc bag. I've got a one gallon bag. Should fit that. So let's see. How are we going to do this? Am I going to, I'm just, y'all know me in messes. That, they kind of sort of go hand in hand. You know what I mean? So here, I'm going to come in just like so. Remove the blade. Put you here. Okay, here comes the excitement and the fun. So we're just going to come in. We're going to pour it all in here just like that. How's that? Oh, yes. Everything. You know what? I don't think I even need one of them spatula do jiggies. Oh, man, you can smell the brown water that's in there. <laughs> so I'm going to come in. You can use the water immersion method to remove the air. I'm gonna do this now make daggone sure that <laughs> this thing is zipped and okay yes and uh not water watertight leak proof maybe that'll do it now we coming in like i said 144.5 degrees we're coming in here just like that and we'll be back in one hour to see what happened <laughs> Oh man, heck yeah, that's looking good. About every 15 minutes or so, you need to come in and kind of sort of agitate or irritate or shake the bag up a little bit so you, we can kind of sort of disperse and kind of sort of mix up our, um, our eggnog all throughout. Just like that. Now remember, it's 144 degrees, so it's uh that water's warm so be careful with that but yeah every 15 minutes or so kind of sort of shake that thing up a little bit get everything kind of sort of uh, uh moving around in that bag and, and well distributed <laughs> oh yeah oh man that is looking good i tell you it's been right at about an hour so go ahead we're gonna turn that off what i've got over here now this 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 is optional i kind of want to speed things up, cool it off so we can try some of it here in a few minutes. But I, right here, I've got a water bath. I'm sorry. An ice water bath, obviously. So we're gonna put our um, eggnog in here and what that's gonna do is just gonna begin to accelerate the cooling process. So just like this, oh yeah. That's gonna begin dropping that temperature. Then we're gonna strain it into a pitcher and then put it in some little Old timey milk jugs. <laughs> How about that? So tell you what, give us a, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes and we will be back ready to serve our Merry Christmas eggnog. <laughs> oh man, that smells delicious. Now it's, a, it's not 100% cold, but I don't want it to be 100. I want it to be a nice little warm drink that I'm going to have. So I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to come in. I'm just going to Fill up my little old timey milk bottle, just like this. Oh yeah. Man, you can see the, the freshly grated nutmeg and the cinnamon that's in there. I've uh, strained it out to get rid of the um, that little bit of uh, vanilla bean we had in there. Oh yeah, check that out. Oh, almost enough to do this, but not quite. So, retire this guy. We've got our adult milk shall we say we're gonna come in here just like that oh heck yeah man check that out oh wow tell you what if that doesn't make santa happy i don't know what will now we're gonna come in with just a little bit more of our freshly grated nutmeg oh man are you kidding me how about that that oh yes oh yeah that's gonna be awesome hey 
And if need be, you can come back over there, grab you a little bit more Jack Daniels or bourbon or cognac, and you can tip that off. How about I tell you what, I hope you all try this out. I think Santa is definitely going to enjoy our eggnog. Hey, right down here, something a little different, probably six months from now will be much on Pina Colada, Goombe Smash Tropical Elixir. Take a look at that right here. How about that right there? That is our subscribe button. Make sure you click that so you'll know when we upload anything new to the channel. I tell you all what, I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Until next time, God bless, and we'll see you soon.